I'll play left field and catch me. It was a chance for Middletown to meet its latest hero and a chance for Kyle Schwarber to thank a long line of supporters who helped him during the Cubs World Series run. He was well aware of all the support he received from these folks back home. Go Cubs! Go Cubbies! Kyle! World champs! It means a lot when, when you have your community that, that's rallying behind you know, a, a person, a team. And, and it's a good feeling for me too, knowing that I'm, that I'm giving uh, some energy to this community as well. Kyle is spending a couple of hours in downtown Middletown, signing autographs and sharing stories with fans from his hometown. Um, well, Carmen got a card. He collects baseball cards and he has the whole team of the Cubs. So he brought his Kyle Schwarber card. So he was pretty excited and Faith got her hat signed. And she also got a hat signed for dad because he couldn't come and he's a pretty big Cubs fan. This is his first chance to get back home since the Cubs won it all last month. Not only are the fans glad to see him, but so are Kyle's parents. We haven't had a chance to really sit down and, and spend a tremendous amount of time with him yet. But we're looking forward to that uh, Thursday as we all get together for Thanksgiving. It's been quite a year for the people of Middletown. Before the World Series came the gold medal in judo won by Kayla Harrison in the Summer Olympics. For her to do that, that that's great. And her background story, too, is even better. And, uh, you know, it, it, it just speaks. I feel like this town speaks a lot for, for itself. You know, we have a lot of great athletes come out of here. Yeah, and certainly 2016 is the proof. I can't imagine many communities having a World Series champ and a gold medal winner in the same year, but that's how it's been at Middletown. Kyle's supposed to be done signing these autographs at 6 o'clock. I have a feeling he's going to go into extra innings, and we're going to be back with more from here coming up at 6 o'clock in the sportscast and hear Kyle talk about coming back from that devastating knee injury that kept him out most of the season. Reporting live from Middletown, I'm George Vogel, WLWT News 5. It sure was fun to watch him, George. Thank you.